Alright, so basically, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I woke up to my friend telling me the ban list was like, leaked early, and so now they fully released it. It's like when you give a child a Christmas present, like, on accident, and it's like, oh fuck, now he has to have it. You know, so, uh, I have no fucking clue what's going on. I am way too late to this already, I just know it. But, um, I am going to do my reaction, because holy shit, I didn't realize the ban list would drop today. So, um... Yeah, so uh, if you looked at my banlist prediction video, you'll probably know what I'm kind of hoping and expecting to get hit. If not, you know, it's whatever, as long as, you know, Dinosaur doesn't get raped too badly. Uh, alright, so let's start going down. Oh my god. Um, so the next one is, uh, no earlier than October, which isn't actually that far away. I mean, now, like, in terms of this banlist releasing on when it was supposed to, you know, it's a bit far away. But, um, like, wow, okay. So, nothing. Let's go! Car Dragon LP Pen! Oh my god, finally! It only took him like, what, three years? Jesus! Oh my god, finally an LP band, dude. And this is coming from someone who played Dragon Link. I was messing around with it last night and that was, it was like hilarious, but Jesus, dude. Oh my god, finally LP joined Agrapain in the fucking circle of death on the ban list. Ooh, no more dragons! Or, it's not gonna be no more dragons, but like, you know, it's gonna hurt really bad. They're gonna have to play around that and summon the Atum bitch. So out first ban is LP. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the only ban. That's the only thing I had on my band. I'll keep going down. Dryden's band, really? Wow. So we are following in the steps of the OCG. We're banning Dryden again. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect that, actually. I mean, like, I don't think Zoo uh, fucking Tri Brigade's that good. Or even, like, Zodiac Eldlich. That's really weird. See, I saw this, and for some reason, my brain thought Broad Bowl was off the list, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> See, that's kind of... That, that's really weird. Uh, Zoo Tri Brigade and Zoo... Like, Zoo Eldlich probably is just, like, kind of dead now, but, like... Zoo Tri Brigade's gonna have to, like, step it up somewhat. That's really odd. Yeah, Dryden, I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. And I don't even like playing against Zodiac. Uh, keep going down. Um, okay, it's just monsters. So, we have an LP hit, which I was excited for, and a Dryden hit, which I didn't expect at all. That is insane, guys. What do you think about Dryden getting hit? I mean, like... Poor Zoo players, bro. They finally bought new Drydens and shit, and they got, like, what, one, two formats with it? And then all of a sudden it gets banned again? That's tough. Yeah, I guess, like, Zodiac Eldritch was too good. Because I don't think it was Tri Brigade Zoo. Tri Brigade Zoo doesn't really just do Dryden. It's usually, like, a Zoodlich, sit on, like, set four, summon a bitch, go into uh, Dryden, and then eventually Zeus pass. So, yeah, that's the bands. That's kind of crazy. I really only expected LP, um... Let's go ahead and go to the limits. Let's see what gets hit here. Misk, no! No! Misk to one! Okay, I'm actually fine with it, not gonna lie. So, uh, the thing is with one misk is that I've played with one misk before. It's really not that big of a deal. Like, the worst thing that can happen is that it gets, like, called by or something. Because, like, honestly, I might play Coatlas again now, because you can shuffle your stuff back. And you only need Mist to go off, like, once, really. So maybe I'll still play Dinosaur, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, wow, dude, that sucks. Um, then Skull Crobat Joker back to one. That's kind of cool, actually. Now my friend will stop bitching about it. Wow, um, fuck. Striker Dragon, let's go! Okay, that's another thing I predicted. Um, Striker Dragon to 1 and the LP ban were literally like the only hits I had towards Dragon, or at least Rocket Dragon Link. I don't really have a problem with the other Dragon Link builds, because, you know, you can just kind of like Dark Rule with them and then call it a day. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too surprised about Striker Dragon. But fuck, dude, mmm, my Misk to 1, no! We just got the scrap cards, Konami. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Mirage Stalia back to one. Again, another thing I predicted. Like, it's not that bad of a card. 
even though some people might think I hate it or whatever because I argued with Cali Effect on Twitter, but I was just arguing that he was saying that he that Konami was comparing it to a bunch of other shit. I'm surprised Beatrice is still at one, kinda. I don't think decks like Drytron are played at more than one anyway if it was uh, after one, but like, you know, that's just me. Uh, keep going down, keep going down. Engage to one, okay, that's cool. Did I have engaged to one on my predictions list? No, I think that was the only card I didn't put to back to one, but engaged to one. Wow, that's actually not that bad. I even said engaged to one wouldn't even be that bad uh, over on Twitter because, I mean, Sky Striker's still a really good deck, especially now that they do have engage back, but I mean, it's kind of power crept, you know, in a sense, where it's not as good as it used to be. And having only one engage, I mean, like, I feel like multi-roll is the biggest problem out of all of them. So, yeah, you know, if you ask me, that's what I think is the, the bad thing. Uh, if we go down, there is nothing uh, more. Red Reboot is still at one. Skill Drain still at one. So, okay. Fuck you, Limited List. <laughs> I wanted Fossil Dig to get hit, not this. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Um, I, I can figure out a way to play around it, though. I, I was thinking about going back to playing Draco anyway, though, so I don't know. Uh, the Skull Crow back to one, though. Finally, Penned gets some love. I mean, like, this card's not really gonna do anything at all. So, um, I've been saying it could come back for, like, years now. Uh, Striker Dragon to one, I heavily expected that. This card is really good, and having only one of it actually makes its uses. You know, you gotta kind of specifically work around if you want to reuse that striker dragon or not so you're gonna have to like save your uh red md survive or revival for the striker and then mirage stallion to one that was kind of expected by everyone i mean sal is not doing anything it's not gonna do anything and then engage one okay oh shit uh double iris suggestion uh fucking something limited i accidentally scrolled way too far down no one cares about double iris no one's gonna use it uh and then symbol of heritage what is symbol of heritage now or uh, do again that's fucking one second i didn't even know this card was limited activate only while there are three monster cards with the same name in your graveyard select one of them uh special it and equip it with this card uh when this card is destroyed destroy the equip bots that's not that great why was this limited i mean it's not a once per turn but like still you can just errata it i don't know but, uh, okay, that looks like that's the entire ban list. I expected more shit to come to Unlimited, not gonna lie. Um, and then Double Iris, you know, to two, like I said, no one cares. The most interesting things about this list are definitely the bans and the limits. So, a quick recap, um, Guard Dragon LP, finally banned, let's go. Uh, Zodiac Dryden, surprisingly banned. Like I said, I didn't know we'd follow in the steps of the OCG, but sorry, Zoo players, I guess you don't have Dryden again. Um, Misk Limited, uh, I'm gonna bash my skull against the wall, bro. Um, Skull Crovat Joker to one, no one cares. Uh, Mirage Dalio to one, Salad Rejoice. And then Engage to one, Horny People Rejoice. Ooh, that's gonna make the price of my Engage rise up. I have a single First Ed Dark Savior's Secret Rare Engage left out of my playset. <laughs> ah, okay. But, yeah, and then the Double Iris and Symbol of Heritage, no one really cares about. So, uh, yeah, that's it for my ban list reaction. A lot of really cool stuff on here. I still think this isn't even that bad of a ban list. Um, like, it, it didn't even hit things too hard. So, um, like, you know, I'm pretty sure we're still gonna be in a nice, healthy format. The same top decks are probably gonna be the same top decks. Just gotta kinda work around, like, the misc and shit, but, uh... You know, yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. If you liked it, please share, hit the like button, it helps put this video and the channel into the YouTube recommended. And if you really like this video and you want to see more like it, like the rest of my epic Yu-Gi-Oh content, perhaps consider subscribing because we're on our way to a thousand subscribers by next year. Tell me in the comments below what you thought about this ban list. I thought it's actually pretty nice. And uh, yeah, again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Aurora signing off.